All right, howdy, y'all. I got a cough. <laughs> All right, bro. I installed this earlier. We got this from FedEx today. It was supposed to be here yesterday, but they did not get it here in time. And I didn't stream yesterday anyway, so I ended up getting tired like at 8 o'clock, and then I took a nap and blah blah blah. Midtones, shadows, highlights. Extra help provided to make the experience smoother and easier, including hints and help with highlights. I'll just go modern, I guess. I'm pretty stupid. I used to be smart as a kid, but I'm stupid as an adult. I mean, I played Silent Hill, like, as a child, and I figured out those puzzles. Now when I play Silent Hill, I can't figure them out. And I made beef jerky last night. I use like the spicy stuff, but I also used honey, so, and I feel like the honey it? took out the spice. What's wrong with him? And the soy sauce too. He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession. That crazy? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being uh, convinced that he was truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing no, himself and address. all the other patients of being involved in some cult, and now they are also out to get him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Swat. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Will they separate, though? Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around, depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. How do you handle crazy? Oh, select character. <laughs> I was like, why are they just staring at me, bro? Um...
We'll go with the police make these gotta go. What? Hello? Hello? Looks abandoned. It can't be. There has to be someone around. Wait here. I'll go around back. That's what she's. Oh. I would not be able to trust myself to go into a place I've never been to. I get lost so easy. That's why my watch has the navigation slash compass. Ooh. Alright, this game looks pretty uh, slick in the dark. What's that? Oh, it's for the engine. Got a little zoom a loom loom loom. Is it like horse dolls? You know, horses are not naturally inclined to go into small no, indoor areas, you know? Wait, what do you say? There's a flashlight? Could I have missed the flashlight entirely? Kitchen garden key. Yep, that that's that's the key. Oh wow, that's right. Oh wow. Doesn't say anything about batteries, bro. That's good. It's a cute little wheelbarrow. Vermins. Dude, I hate mice so much. I'm just happy that Simon is like the best mouse and cat I've ever seen. So you, there's no other choice because the key is with the flashlight. I don't know if you select the key so I don't have to like dig through your inventory, which is nice. I said the S word and came in here. Is that a cat? Can't zoom in or what? Is that the guy from Stranger Things? The cop guy? Wow. This is pretty. It's really pretty. Hello? Is that orchids? No. Nah, I'm not getting in there. Can I shoot it? No, probably not. That would be awkward. <laughs> the staff sees me shooting locks, bro. Okay. I'm glad there's like circles on stuff that's like, what? Oh, hell no. Nah. Hmm. What is it? What is it? I don't know what it is. I have no idea what's in that bucket. I'm assuming I'm supposed to get like a hoe or something. <laughs> a hoe. <laughs> um. Mm-hmm. 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 Flowers. So it's the whole game me just trying to get to the front door. <laughs> ah, uh. This place, oh my lord. It's one big tree to fit inside a conservatory. Is that like a willow? Somebody's whispering up in here. Housekeeper key. 
That seems important. Um, funny that it lets you look at the key, but I can't like rotate it or anything, so I'm not sure what's the point of looking at it. Unless it's like a document you can read or something. I think the tree's talking. Can't quite understand what they're saying. Huh. So, is there more doors up here that were locked then? They're not even interactable. This is really pretty though. Wow. I would kill to have a greenhouse like this. Welcome to Deserta. Welcome to the jungle. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I'm going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but... It's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of gris, gris Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around, that the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth, a mother of earth wood and dirt a mother of a thousand young sacred sun one dollar black cat oil dollar fifty devil shoe strings a quarter that makes two dollars and seventy five cents madame what was that you were telling the doctor a goat without horns what does that mean ah you must have misheard me madame i said no such thing Please, I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm, do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. I'm a fan that it plays the audio for the, that plays the characters' voices of the written text. I can't speak very well with foreign languages like French, bro. Let me show some birds up all the time. In Japanese, too. We're getting uh, bullets, bro. That's good. Actually, let's check something real quick. Okay, so this game. What? What? Is. 
huh? What is this? I... The... Directors... Commentary... Vintage... Horror filter pack. I don't know how to use that stuff. Um, where is it? So I forgot that the PlayStation 5 had these hints because a lot of games don't... 15% through the game, that's not... That doesn't sound right. 15% through this part of the game. But yeah, this has hints. So... Collectibles, right? So for where I'm at in the story, it says find the evacuation notice, shoot down the pendant from the tree, which I might have missed that. I'm not even to that part, I don't think. And then talk about the bloody body. And then you can actually get a clip of what it is. So it's idiot proof, bro. So Last of Us Part 1 Remastered is going to be the platinum project for us. And you can pin that stuff to the side of the screen as well. Right, back to the game. Yeah, so... That's another plus of buying this game, or buying uh, Alone in the... Last of Us Remastered. I haven't played it since the PlayStation 3 days. Don't mind if I do. Is that booze? He has a flask too. What? Oh, there's like stuff right there. It won't move any further. I, I can't grab it or nothing. Keys. This is where we, we went completely backwards. Dude, every game I play, I do that. Every single one. I think I got turned around after I got that note. Jello? I'm a white man, bro. I'm entitled up in here. Is that a pig's leg? Yup. How many legs does a pig have? Four. <laughs> Is that Tato's? Yep. Is that bullets? Rat poison. Squeal no more. Rat and vermin killer. What? What is this? Forbidden knowledge. Secret objectives. A goat without horns. Didn't I like pick up that clue? It doesn't count. I think it has to be an actual item. Oh, Lord have mercy. That'd be nice to have a... What was that? A non-essential items that you can find throughout the game. Completing sets will uncover forbidden knowledge and sometimes more. Cool. We like collectibles. Don't hit the keyboard. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. There's five pig's legs here, bro. I'm just calling bullshit. Pig's only got four legs. A drink. What does a drink do? Why do people drink? Hmm. Why do people drink alcohol? Because it's liquid courage and you take risks. Alright, is that it? Wait a minute, I came- this is only one way out. Too bad I can't take a knife. I don't think- I think the gun will be fine. If we just keep collecting bullets, we'll be good. Just keep on collecting them. Is 
So I assume it just gets dark as hell when night comes, right? Because it's like evening. This is backwards. So we have the other room. Is that where we need to go? Oh wait, did we open this cat this uh chest? I don't know if they call these refrigerator things. More drink. I thought I had a bird, but it didn't come. Oh, even here. Okay, so there's like a stairway over here. What? No, there's more stuff, bro. Holy crap. Pistol bullets. Pistol bullets. I guess that's one good thing about getting turned around over and over again is you see stuff you missed before. Oh no, don't look in the oven. Oh, yeah, we can close the oven. Cool, cool. Wow, they got bullets all over the kitchen, bro. It's the best place for bullets. How do I turn my light like that? Locked. No, it is not locked, bruh. Simon and Bacchus are like laying on the floor facing each other. It's kind of weird. Uh, Simon's been acting kind of weird lately since we got back from New Mexico. Like, he'll sit there and, like, watch Kyo sleep. He doesn't attack him. He doesn't mess with him. He just watches him. And now he's just, like, sitting there watching Bacchus. Chew on his don't. I'll shave your leg, bro. You shouldn't be doing it. You're gonna make a hot spot. Huh. We got 18 bullets, y'all. That's good. Hopefully the shooting's not quite so embarrassing as the last game. Streetcar ticket. Another one of the clues. Crescent City. Forbidden knowledge. I need the key. Hmm, where could the key be? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. Key. If I was a key, where would I be? Is this the pantry? Oh. Boiler room. Sabotage. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Are they playing Salter? It kind of looks like poker, though, actually. That doesn't look safe. Huh. I think I am missing a piece here. He can crash. I don't know if I can walk through that. No, I cannot. Is that raw meat or is that bread? Okay. I guess if we have another ready to go, we'll go. I don't have a puzzle piece. Camera?
I think I see bullets in there. Give me the bullets. No, it's a drink. Maybe I'm full on drinks? I'm not sure what they do. Can't be help, can it? Uh Did the George just like swing shut by themselves then? Lottie's diary. Sunday, June twenty second. I spent all day looking for Jed. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he would do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one label. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Hmm. That doesn't sound good. Yep, they are medication. Map. Clue. Thank you. I love maps, bro. So. The stuff that's highlighted blue is with places I've been, and the pink is where I'm at. Oh, and it keeps track of where the puzzles are? That's great. Awesome. Hey. And we got a piazza key. Okay. I'm not sure what that means. Is it for this box? No. Maybe it's for the basement? to open the map. That's not holding. That's holding. So this is a library? That's where the key goes. So Piazza is a library? No, it's not. Excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind. We oh, he's we a private investigator, the cop. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. What? Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Am I right? She has that Hartwood gloom, doesn't she? That's right. <laughs> I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. You will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hartwood? My Welcome name's Edward Carnby. Private investigator. Splendid. Enough! All of you, get back to your rooms. The coffee. 
Keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? Ran off? He I don't have time in. for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. In the corridor. It's the first door on your left. Uh, uh, I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent. Thank you, madam. She's just okay. Let's look around, see if we can dig up any clues. Search the room for clues. I am a private dick, so that's what I do. Searching. If I could still stare at me like that, it makes me uncomfortable. It makes me uncomfortable. He's like, hmm? Wasn't there greenies in here? Yeah, there is. Okay, let's say hi to the stream without knocking my headphones out of my head. I don't. I don't have a true intermission scene. I don't think. No, I don't. This is a fresh install of uh, OBS Live. Come here. Go oh, you. I'll give you half of a greenie busy because you're like half the size of that dog. Here you go, mama. Ow, don't bite my finger. And chew it, please. Greeny time. Kitty time. Kitty time. All right. Oh, it's like. What's the temperature? Well, it's 40 outside with the winter storm watch, and it's going to get down to 32. So the temperature is going to just keep dropping. So if I'm cold now, I'll be cold later. Another puzzle. This is for the year. Hello? How do I select stuff? How do I? How do I move stuff? Maybe that other thing was not. Nope, I don't know. Cause there's like this half ring that's dark and I don't see I think we need something to use I'm not sure commonplace book every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity Staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Terraware. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Perosi? Back from the beyond. Now 
How did you first come to understand such things, Senora? How did you know that the so battered sorry. boil in the basement would lead me to Lafayette Cemetery? Or how the old upstairs clock with its astronomical motifs would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont Harbor? Those are my memories, my past. Is there perhaps a chance, if ever so small, for me to see Terra Wea? Oh, I want that more than anything. Please, let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with Juan under his Bodhi tree. Despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had to travel to Tonka. Instead, she cruelly told Baptiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way, that the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear, and that he would be devoured by his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. The people of Deseto were becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up in treating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine and conversation? The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world. All would be lost. Everything. Unless I can find a clerk, Mr. Waite. He seems to be a clear-thinking man. Maybe Beauregard. The dark man offered me a prison, and I accepted. I signed that miscarried contract and entered the dark path. Everyone is safe, except for me. I found that weird coin, did I not? Painted tile. Okay, so that's what we need for the puzzle behind us. I don't know why I don't know why we can't like rotate the item. I'm not like expecting to find clues. Oh, she's just chilling right there. Can I talk to her? It has a little dingy, but I'm not sure. Oh wait. I found a book full of peculiar notes. Have you heard of something called Tarawea? No. What's that? I might be reading too much into this, but I think it's the place he wants to go to. Oh, okay. Sounds like a clue. No key. So, can I pick them up? Okay, yes, I can. Ooh, that's hey, cool. You know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. She didn't notice me doing a oh, puzzle. Help me out here, will you? She's digging through paintings. Kill the guy, throw some of this stuff out? I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. Dude, he's not like a hoarder. Calm down. Does they didn't even come out on the weird statues and bus? Oh wow. He painted That's himself striking. doing that? I want to save this one. <laughs> Weirdo. I want to save this one. Reflection on the power of the sun. That's a talisman. All right, come on. She Time just cuts it out of the frame and starts it in a tube. 
I got brain pain. She doesn't even like acknowledge Come on, me. let's go. Yeah, I'm coming. My brain hurts, bitch. Miss Hartwood. No freaking way. Emily? Did I like cross over into another dimension? Son of a bitch. I think I'm in the place where stuff's not safe. What the hell is going on? The voodoo dude's gonna I? get ya. Wait, we were in the freaking country, right? Um, I'm confused now. Investigate the corner stove. Can I just jump or no? Just run through the house? No, no key. I really hope that we're not missing stuff and that we just come back here. I'm gonna be very bummed. We have a chest, right? Nope, we did not. Because we're dumb. <laughs> I am normal. Another time. Hello? Hello? I'm not sure if there was something glitchy there or just me being stupid. Yeah, this is not the same house. Oh no. Bullets. Wait a minute, is it gonna be like Silent Hill where like you're gonna be shooting monsters and they're not really monsters, they're actually freaking people? <laughs> uh, I'm stuck. No! Uh, game, don't glitch out on me now! No, game! Uh, no! What's up, Ben? What the f uh, 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 I can't I'm stuck I'm stuck Oh we got it Fuck yeah bitch How do I scrouch I can't scrouch Is that an enemy? I am assuming because it looks non human Do we sneak? How do I sneak? I can crouch, right? I thought I crouched yep. Ah! Nope! We're not gonna crash. Oh no, my head's in the way. Oh my god, can I not use... Oh no. I don't know how to block. I can't... Can I block? Can I fight with Malie? No, because that's a freaking flashlight. I have to reload. Hold up, bro. Hold up! I'm getting cornered in the freaking glitch corner. You bastard. Get in the freaking room. I'm gonna kind of go up this way. So can you stay still so I can shoot you? He doesn't know what stairs are. That's good. We are very. We're, that's good. We're glitching hard. I don't know if that was a glitch or just some weird mechanic that was screwing me over. Well, those things are not friendly. No. I feel like I wasted like eight bullets, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. Where's the other one? There is two. Fishman got you with the. I, don't, I think they're moss men, actually. Because they're talking about some voodoo doo stuff and about how the moss was talking to the children. And I'm like, that doesn't sound good. That's irresponsible parenting, to be honest. What's jingling? Me? Is that a horse? Where the fudge do I go? There is no map for this location because I'm in a different freaking dimension in some other location. It's all Silent Hill up in this bitch. Like, not in a Silent Hill. I can't go that way. Can I just get this loot, bro? Calm down. Is it the radio making that noise? What's that? More bullets. Great. We almost got what we wasted. Uh, dude, I've been waiting for this game to, like, literally release for, like, over almost two years now. Well, I guess, yeah, since it's released. What? 
Bro, I'm not hitting that. The Look at the freaking on? controller. Why is it all white like that? <sighs> Mary's racist. Um, we gotta make sure we don't miss anything, cause sometimes we miss stuff. What is that meat? This could be thrown at enemies or used to distract. Tap R2 to quickly throw, and R2 to aim. Can I pick it up? Well, okay. You don't need to like be so violent, sir. Calm. Ooh. I'm just like looking at all the freaking plants. <laughs> I mean, they're in a swamp. That's all there is. It's plants. I'm a jingle, jangle, jingle. You okay, bro? Oh, he's out of breath. He's uh, breathing heavily. I don't know where to go. Just keep on going this way for now. What's that? A weapon? A pipe? Nice. <gasps> ah! ah! Bitch! Oh no, that's some different controls. It's different controls. It's different controls. I'm swinging. It's not. Okay. My Come at me, bro. Oh, it's broken. You know what? It saved some bullets, didn't it? That is not a fish. That is a moss. It's like a moss zombie. Zambo. Oh, you we are dealing with voodoo shit, so that would make sense. What does this do? Hopefully it doesn't call demons. <laughs> flesh, man. He's half flesh. All. Moss. Why does he pick up stuff so violently? He's just like... <gasps> I'm like, bro, just just grab it. Just, 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 just grab it. Just gently grab it. Just no violence. Save it for the enemies, bro. What? Oh, it's a brick. Um. I'm not picking it up. I'm just automatically throwing it. How? The F word. Okay, so I have to hold it? Yeah, you can't hold things. You just hold them. That's kind of dumb. Why? I don't know how you cancel that shit. You can't. You just throw it. Weird. 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 I guess that doesn't... Dead end? Cool. Huh. I'm assuming this is alcohol. I hear horses, bro. Which way we come from? I think that way. Here, dog. This is locked. I need the key. Mm -hmm. Uh. Cool. Dude, why? I can't go that way. Okay, so we have a dead end with a key. I mean, a lock that needs a key. Is this... There's not... What? There's something over there. What? Why are you out of breath, bro? Even I can run further than that without dying. <laughs> oh, it's a throwable item. Let me leave it. Um, I'm assuming there's stealth mechanics here. Because the first game, the original game, did. We've been through here. We don't have any map. Jello? Jello, there's two. Can you guys come at me one at a time? That would be appreciated. Oop. Oh, they run. Okay, L R1, R1, bro. There might not be one behind me. I'm gonna fucking freak out. 
suck on that, bitch. I got his head. Ha! Oh, I see a little yellow indicator for, like, the brokenness of the weapon, which is good. Way better than lead pipe, bro. Especially when they're cut off their heads. Very effective. We've been here. We've been here, bro. But the enemy spawned here. So what does that mean? Hmm. Maybe we were supposed to go backwards. Maybe we were supposed to aimlessly wander this ghost town with phantom dogs and horses. Okay. Can you hold up? Oh, it's broken. Ooh, his head's gone now. He's a he's like he's he's out of breath. <laughs> um, that means something, right? The enemies are, are here. I don't know. Did I accomplish anything? No, not really. We found a door that's locked with the key that we need. And that's where we came from, so what the heck. Uh, there has to be one street we did not go down. They don't have like a stamina meter, thank god. Thank the baby Jesus. Pressure in my brain, can I go that way? I thought there's somebody looking down from the balcony. I was like, what the f Do I need health? Yeah, it's alcohol. I thought it was like some weird potion, but it's not. It's just booze. Hey, we got the bullets back that we wasted at the beginning of this. That's a bell. Thing. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Finally. Someplace recipes and medicine. Oh, this is the curio shop or whatever you want to call it. <gasps> that is a big man. Holy crap. I'm care. dead. Are you. Is this your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did. How? A pact with the dog man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. So I'm Detective right, Edward was Carnby. Right. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Here's you, oh, Benjamin. Yeah? How much you paying you? $150. That's a lot of money back now. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth tonight. Are you a thinking man, Conbear? No, not if I can help it. <laughs> Facts. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace. Got some. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The so voodoo priest. You know surprising things, compare. Yeah, the mama lower. Here, take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. We found the gate Maybe too. if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have a look. That is one big man. Holy crap. If I had to fight him, I would die instantly, dude. That mallet, that's like a tenderizing mallet. Keys. There are three keys in the chain. One of them opens Miss Jackson's place in the French Quarter. Then there are two begin belonging to the Deserto. One of for the clerk's offices and one for the library. So he's like a worker? Goat without horns, preserved reptile. Can I view that? I cannot view that. Mmm, so it gives me the outline of the items. I know if I remember. There's a rosary. Oh, I think he's technically the owner of the store, but he has keys to the mansion, so I kind of feel like he might be a worker there. Or something. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> oh, it's him. <laughs> Can I talk to him again? You want to come along? Nah, I'm going to stay here for a while. Okay, fair enough. Skip. 
Anything I can do for... Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Batiste. Just tell my sister Lottie I'm alright if you see her. Oh, so that's the woman that screamed at me earlier. Alright. I'm heading out. Be careful out there. Well, at least when you keep clicking the dialogue, it says, like, stuff that makes sense in the conversation. Because... There's no more option to talk to him, which is awesome. I'm the type of player that keeps pushing the button. This, oh, that's the door. You're a genius, Mary. Can I climb out this window? No, because there's glass in it. I thought there was no glass. This place is not destroyed, Mary. It's just empty. Oh. That's dead end. Didn't say anything about being Silent Hilly, huh? Oh, there's strange fog, and it turns people into moss, man, and you just gotta take around and find out. What the fuck? That's new. What do I hit? Top part of it? Ah! He's really like, he does breathe a lot harder than I think I should pay attention to. What the fudge packet thing? That was not a moss monster. That was some weird. Oh my gosh, are those fucking maggots? Giant hole? No, I'm out. I'm done. That's. Nope. Nope. Where's the gate? By, 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 past this thing, I think? Nope. Oh. I didn't get hurt, so kudos. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Thank you, we do desperately. No, we're actually doing pretty good on ammo as long as we take our time and aim. Oh. What? Oh, what? Where did he see that I don't see? Oh, I hear something. I hear something monstrous breathing. I don't like monstrous breathing. Ah! Bitch. Ah! Calm down. I gotta aim. Oh, Mary. Mary. Hold up, I gotta reload. Time out. <laughs> no! I got plenty of health though, don't worry, you trip. Get higher, Mary. That sucks. Um, that guy has pretty spread eagle right now, it's pretty concerning. I hope I'm not killing real people. Is there another one? I thought the breathing was just ambiance. Keep giving me the sweet, sweet bullets. What's that rock? Oh, I was right there. Fuck. I don't like how you have to hold it and then release it. That's pigs. And that is not a pig. Holy crap, what is that? He's like taking it pretty well though. He's not saying anything about Hello? I swear, if things come out of the ceiling, I'm just done tonight. I don't have time for that. That's too much stress. I can't even, like, this is as fast as I can go. Yeah, there is something up here. Come down, asshole. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was fire. And I'm on fire. Okay, that was an alcohol bottle. I've never seen one of those before. And I guess it was totally worth it to hold it. It scorched that maggot thing. Bro. 
As long as I don't panic shoot, we should be fine. Oh, nope, nope. <laughs> nope, we're not fine. Oh no, I tried to aim high for his head, but it didn't work that way. Shoot him with something. Hold up, I gotta reload. Time out. I wasted the one bullet I had reloaded. Can you hold up a second, sir? I wasted two bullets, bro. Or more. I guess you can have a first aid now. Three bullets left. That's very bad. We, we're screwed. I don't know if these things are tracked by the flashlight. I don't know. I was not expecting these two things to be so close together. Please be bullets. A juju. Great. Great. That's exactly what we need is a freaking voodoo juju. Nope, don't pick that up. You really need it. Okay, okay, okay. We got bullets. Barely. We got our revolver finally full after wasting them. And yes, I'm walking. Thank God. I like how, like, when you walk in a room, like, it takes a second, like, a very half a second to, like, focus the camera. I recognize this place. Especially it's if it's, like, seance parlor. How do Let's you know? see if she's got any information on Jeremy's talisman. Hey, it's a Illuminati coin. It's the talisman, like the one in the painting. No way. In between, there are doors. Old talisman shape over centuries. The engraving of the numbers look to be less than 100 years old. The base could be from antiquity. The polished black sunstone in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. See, and that's what would be cool if you can like adjust the item you're inspecting and like let's say that if you adjust it there's like a sheen and there's like a face in it or something cool. I don't know, or a clue. I don't know. I think it's a missed opportunity. I think it's meant for the talisman. How? Oh, just put it right in there? Oh, fuck. I don't even know what the clue would be. Hear that? I think it needs numbers, like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Oh, the tones. Uh, do we have what we need? Hello? Um, it's not letting me interact with the door. I'm assuming I don't have the key anyway. Because it says that the one key opens the gate and the two other keys are for the Deserto Manor. And this is not the Deserto Manor. What? You can't tell me. It. There's no way to get through this. No way. No. That's probably what. That's probably a box, and that's probably how you get the key is from the box. So, Jeremy's notes. Uh, do I have a Jeremy's notes? Jeremy's thoughts. See any numbers? Three, five, and eight. I think that shows where it should like, wait a minute. So three, five, eight, or is it eight, three, five?
Uh... Puzzles, yep. Uh, you gotta get your brain working. Eight. And the outside was three. I... Th It says eight, 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 three, five. That doesn't look right. So maybe it's three, five, eight. Genius. Oh my god. It's showing something. I didn't expect that. I thought it was going to be a key. Where is that? The house, maybe? Huh. I wasn't expecting that. What? The door that's glowing, creak it open. I'm gonna go investigate it. Investigation is my middle name. Mary Investigation Detective. Jane. Oh. I was wondering when you were going to show up. I was wondering, like, what Mrs. the fuck? Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. I was a doctor. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, yeah. I guess He's taking it really I mean, well. You're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. Here, I just didn't expect. <laughs> I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification, detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Oh, detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the view, carré, detective. Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, that's not quite like the stories, Doc. Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to Dossetto, Detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Why don't you tell me where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? <laughs> Why wouldn't that make for a short visit? I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. A drink, detective? Anything brandy. Oh, you do belong in the French quarters, detective. Armagnac or cognac? You know, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. Having low standards is not a virtue, detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. He's going to give me the me about good Jeremy? stuff. I wouldn't want to go into details about his condition. Doctor, patient, confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. Sure. But he is crazy. And he's gone missing. Why? Here. Try this. Lip your lips around that. Got a bite. <laughs> it's called a side. The trick is not to be afraid of the tartness of the lemon. It is good. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. They had triple sec back then. Okay. What can you tell me about Jeremy? That's a full-blown cocktail. Uh, well, He's made him a cocktail. Let me think. He is an anxious man, constantly worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order and that some things simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? Uh, no, not I really. Uh, I was second. hoping for some direction where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. You should talk to my orderlies. They have been looking for him for a while now. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation is already the underway. Suck, you mean? Or the cocktails. Yeah. I'm gonna go. Drink I'm the rest sure of that. We'll Don't waste it. Yes, yeah, slurp. Looking forward to it. No, is it empty? Safe returns. Hopefully he ain't roofing me. Chapter two. How many chapters this game got? I don't know. Five, ten, twelve? I don't know. Detective Carney, how Where the fuck you, you been? Where did you go? 
Uh, different dimension. I was just talking to Dr. Gray. You disappeared. Hold up. No. No, I can't. It's not Hold what you up. think. Have you... Have you found anything strange going on here? Like enemies? Everyone is being incredibly evasive, and I can't figure out why. No, I mean something... Hey, what's up, hands? You can't explain. Paranormal, even. It's booty do. I really need you to get yourself together. I can't do this alone. Uh, yeah. I've been I'll putting in the, this work, bro. Do you want to come see Dr. Gray? I already no. talked to Dr. I want to try something else. <laughs> With this talisman, I think I can follow Jeremy to the place he mentioned in the book. Oh, boy. He's what acting crazy. Name? Do you remember something Spanish? T Tarawea. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Detective? Are you going to be They're Mossmen. Right? And maggot men. Yeah, of course. Go talk to Dr. Gray. We'll rendezvous later. Is he even in there or was I just talking to nobody, bro? Did I drink a real cocktail or not? I don't know, dude. Reality is not what it seems. This talisman brought me back from the French Quarter in the blink of an eye. Mm -hmm. If Jeremy can travel so easily, then he could be hiding anywhere. Mm -hmm. Even Tarawea. Mm -hmm. If he can do it, so can I. I just need to figure out how the talisman works. I mean, the detail is astounding, bro. I, I think it's a true PS5 game. Like, Trepang, the, the graphics were kind of toyish. A rubber stamp. Part of the Lost Children collection. Great. That looks... That's not a scoople. That's a dog collar, and that's a freaking ink pen. Oh yeah, that guy he just spoke to isn't real. Dude, I he made me a drink. He's gotta be real. <laughs> the buzz is real. Not really. I mean, Brandy, bro. Is anybody back there? Probably not. Ooh, can I... Can I? Thank you. He gave me the... He gave me three keys. You've used two now. Give me this piece of paper. Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something These to do with Jeremy's episodes curses. and how he seems to disappear at night. That's the power. Right the now, radios. it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. Wasn't I there? Or no, that was like the greenhouse. I don't- there's a garden? Bruh. I'm all about the plants lately. I gotta be doing- I'm gonna do a lot of flowers, because... reasons. Repairing the boiler. Okay. Saw you notice in the boiler room. Oops. Saw you notice in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, oh, but you can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam pouring out. Be careful. How does my hair get stuck on my glasses at the temple, bro? Oh my god. You know what? Whatever, I'll leave it the way it is until I accidentally pull it out later. It's gonna happen. He just puts his hair. Self-closing doors, bro. My dad has a door set so freaking tight that if you don't get through the door fast enough or hold it open for yourself, you can literally, like, flat tire yourself. It's just like when it hits the back of your, uh, foot. Like where the Achilles is, almost, but the heel part. Hello? Room key number six. I don't know why it views. I don't get it. Okay, I wasn't even looking at that. I was looking at this. Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Waits. Magdalena Thompson, or Mags, oh. is responsible for the household. Jean Baptiste and Charlotte Tabois are responsible for keeping the guests' medical regiments in check. Finally, Jack Chance is our gardener, who can occasionally be seen in the conservatory, but is, for the most part, busy outside. There are currently six guests at Dossetto. Malcolm McCarthy, 
and Ruth Talant reside on the first floor. Jeremy Hartwood, Elisabetta Perosi, Grace Saunders, and of course, Cassandra Beauregard live on the second floor. Where is he like, the, it's just, mm. it's saying paragraphs, but I just see a list. <laughs> so we met Madeline. She was the asshole that was yelling at me earlier. We met Dr. What's his face? So, who was the guy that gave us the keys? Because I thought he had like a cool name, but I don't see any cool names here. Batiste, staff, Jean Batiste Tabios. That's his name. He's staff. Doesn't say who, like just staff. Good guy. A Rorschach? Ooh, I've never seen one with colors. Why can you investigate or look at an item on the other side, but then when you have the the forbidden stuff, it's like, nah, you just get to see it from a distance. You don't get to expect it. Denied. And all these qualms I'm saying don't really technically matter. It's just minor shit. Patient files. Toggle pages. Play. Let's go. Cassandra Read to me. God, the beloved author. Very exciting, isn't it? What do you want to put down for a reason for admission? What her agent told us. Cassandra suffers from writer's block and needs to finish her moving picture script before the end of June. Mr. Chardot suggests Cassandra's heavy use of barbiturates is holding her back and risks ruining her career. And how should we summarize her personal history? Let's keep it short. Cassandra Beauregard is a beloved crime author who managed to pull herself out of poverty and into stardom. Five years ago, she tried killing herself by jumping off a balcony. The incident left her a cripple and now relies heavily on her wheelchair. And for diagnostic impressions? Cassandra suffers chronic back pain following her suicide attempt. She self-administers morphine to keep herself ambulant, self but has become addicted, and the desired effect is now lost. The drug abuse clouds her mind, and she is unable to focus on real life. <gasps> Did I just skip? Grace Saunders, 11 years old. Reason for admission? The mother insists Oops. on strict supervision by a proper gentleman to avoid further perversion of Grace's adolescence. Oh, God. Personal history? Grace's family possesses modest wealth and status. Her childhood seems ordinary, spending most of her time with private teachers and family friends. Grace's father recently passed away, leaving her mother the sole caregiver. And diagnostic impressions? Grace has trouble dealing with her father's death. She is willingly suppressing her feelings on the matter and isn't properly acknowledging the trauma she suffered. Any planned treatment? Grace needs nothing out of the ordinary. She simply needs parental guidance. Eventually, we can work on her feelings toward her father. Thank you, Doctor. I'll finish the paperwork and get her installed. Installed? That's, she's not a light bulb, sir. See, my sister has a plan for her daughter to see a therapist when she gets old enough to need it. Uh, the child's about to turn four, and her dad's already, like, manipulating and just saying nonsense and if i like actually interrupt it it starts over again so that's why i let it play and i'm actually listening to it because it's a very interesting story to be honest but yeah like an example is uh he told her he went to or she went to go visit him and she got her fingernails painted and he told her that since daddy painted her fingernails that the paint will never ever chip off or whatever so when it started chipping off because she's a child and children get their hands on everything, uh, she was confused because her daddy said it would never chip off. It was magic paint. And I'm like, bro, it already starts. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Malcolm McCarthy, 54 years of age. Reason for admission? 
McCarthy admitted himself to Dossetto, stating simply that he needs some damn rest. And personal history. McCarthy claims he used to work as a lawyer in Baton Rouge, but says he can't go into details because of some legal dispute. His background remains largely a mystery, except for the occasional clue that he drops in conversation. Huh. It's like cracking. And diagnostic impressions. McCarthy is an anxious man and an alcoholic. Gotcha. He often tells half-truths due to some deep-seated inability to trust other people. And how will you treat that? McCarthy will take some time to open up. Spending time with Jack's dog or the child should be good for him. Their harmless nature will help build his sense harmless of trust. Nature. Thank you, Doctor. Wow. Elisabetta Perosi, 33 years old? It is enough for sure. should I put down as reason for admission? Well, Bitch. Perosi broke into Dossetto and was found wandering the grand parlor. She was confused and suffered partial amnesia. She insisted she belonged here and offered to pay for her stay. Right. What do you make of her story? Perosi claims to have been a member of the Astarte artist colony some 20 years ago. A claim that seems contrafactual due to her young age. She's a time she traveler. She to be and even Slash thinks she is hopper. 33 years of age. That would make her a child at the time. It seems fair to say that Perosi's story is untrue. Deliberately so or not. Diagnostic impressions? Do you have anything? Perosi's story is peculiar because she retracted her story about the artist colony. She no longer claims to be the same person as Elisabetta Perosi. However, my staff's research has confirmed there was a Perosi at that time who was in her early 30s. I suppose this case will take some time to investigate. How will you go about it? I wanted to contact the real Perosi, but it seems the whole colony disappeared one night. September 29th, 1915, during a hurricane. I will have to take it slow and figure out what this spell of impersonation could have been. Oh, I'm sure it will all clear up eventually. Thank you, Doctor. Hmm. Um, Ruth Talon, 29 years of age. Reason for admission? Oh, Ruth's father wishes that his daughter be removed from New Orleans nightlife for the foreseeable future. <laughs> he fears that her overly free spirit is tarnishing the family's reputation. Sounds simple enough. Personal history? Ruth comes from considerable wealth. Her family owns several hotels and restaurants. Unlike the rest of the family, her sense of adventure has taken her around the world, including France during the Great War as a photojournalist. The last decade, she has provoked many rumors of being a debauched flapper, bordering on nymphomania. And diagnostic impression? Despite her father's frivolous reasons for her to be admitted, Ruth does seem to provide an interesting case. She is refreshingly open and doesn't shy away from talking about her life during the war or her continuous celebration after returning to the States. She is admittedly a sexual deviant and feels no remorse. And her treatment plan? Simply staying at Dossetto should do wonders for Ruth. If not, at least for her family's reputation. Ruth <laughs> doesn't need to change, but with therapy I might be able to share with her some sympathy towards her family. I doubt she will settle down and become as dull as the rest of them, but at least she might try to be more discreet in the future. Yep, if you're gonna be a hell, you better fucking... Um, Ruth, it's like then. all the patients are accounted for. Except for Jeremy. Yeah, because when you signed to him, I, he's like, oh, it's this doctor, and I'm thinking, is like a head doctor? Cause I There's thought, like, no way I can get initially. into this thing. Better leave it alone. Oh, he doesn't even talk about a code. Is that it? Nope. What's this? So we came in from here. So then, where does this go? I need the key. Hmm. All right. So. 
That's yet another key I need. Well, I really hope the monsters don't come in the house because I probably will be shooting the the workers. What? What's that symbol mean? I don't know what that means. I never seen that before. I hold down the button doesn't do anything. I don't think I'm supposed to do that. Loud clock. All right. Hmm. I'm not sure what that symbol is. Huh. Why is the radio look like it's on, but it's not playing nothing? Oh, Simon's sleeping on the couch right now. Usually he like goes to the bedroom when I'm streaming at night. So we've been here. That's the thing. But where did there was a locked door in there? Man, all these locked doors, bro. It's like Mary, look at your map. Doctor Gray's office. Maps updated information clearly locked doors. Good. Hmm. I need the key. Is that the right key? I got one more I haven't used. Why is he moaning? There's one in the freaking basement that that was like the first one I, s I thought that was a little kid sitting there. It was a plant. Um Yeah. Totally not eccentric at all. What the? Oh. That's it? He just says, oh. He doesn't like even discuss like the monsters he's been killing. I need the key. Oh, we got so many locked doors now. Holy crap. It's stained. Looks like some kind of rot. Oh, you're talking about behind it and the wall on the floor? Yeah. Yep, it's the moss things. They're coming for you. This must be the clock that Jeremy wrote about in the commonplace book. Oh, no. There's another puzzle. Huh. Looks like the plate that held the talisman in the seance room. But it's broken. Yep. And missing some pieces. Yep. Looks like two pieces, one minimum. And that's like the second puzzle that's missing a piece. I'm surprised I found one that fast. <laughs> Uh, sorry, detective. Didn't mean to obstruct. I'm not a detective on private investigator difference. You know, I'm kind of busy with my own case of a missing person. I, I was wondering if you've seen Grace, girl about yay high. Can't say that I have. Why are you asking? Well, I'm looking for her. Is she in looking trouble? For her. No, 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 no. Uh, she's just uh, hiding somewhere. We can't have a rascal like that running around unchecked at a time like this, you understand? He's like oh, I drunk. Haven't seen her. Well, Looking for a child. Hope you find her. Not I'll his be daughter. Around. Well, I'll keep an eye out for your man, Jeremy. You scratch my back, detective, and I'll scratch yours. You're gonna mock me, asshole. That guy's in a different dimension. All right. What? McCarthy reminded Detective Comby of an old barfly he used to know. He detested him. There was no getting around it. McCarthy was going to have a hard time getting on his good side. Hmm. Yep. So, since Alan Wake got narrative 
of the year last year, is this game going to get narrative of the year this year? Because that'd be cool. So far, so good. A lot of puzzles, though. A lot of freaking doors, too. Holy crap. Map. We have not been this way. Let's go. Locked. Some dev just got their rocks off. So what is this door symbol? It's a gate symbol. I've never seen that before. Well, this is the second time. But I don't know what it means. Mm -mm. No. I feel like I can break it. But I can't. So, are we supposed to re- okay. Looks like everything's back to normal here. Uh-huh. But, we didn't get any more puzzle pieces. We got like three puzzle- Is this work? No. <laughs> it's Polly in the basement, which I don't even know how to get back to that. Oh, that's new. Oh, the little girl drew it. Aww. Emily's here. She knows who she is. Emily's here. Like, uh, this is, nope, the little girl's not related. Hmm. Well, I guess it is worth going back to places you've already been many times. Like, I get lost all the time. I don't know what's over here. Spider web. Oh. oh. They're using bondage gear to hang up plants. It's kind of disturbing. And of course, when my sister sends me an Instagram reel and I have messages on Instagram, I have to go check the messages because people can see that I was online on Instagram, but I was a bitch and didn't look at their messages. <laughs> you see how this works? I got them in New Mexico. White noise. <laughs> no way. Hey, you guys mind if I, put some white noise? I actually listen to white noise sometimes when I'm trying to sleep. Like, like fire crackling or creaking pirate ship or what's the other one I like? Thunderstorms. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I forgot about that song existing. So many important things, and I'm so proud of you. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's golfing. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Now I have to look for the brown golfer because he uses the wait, uh, with the the one with the yellow skin will do. It's oh, just that's universal. That's like Homer Simpson, right? Oh, 
All right. Uh, map. So the one with the wiggly thing. Oh, they're bolted doors. Oh, so that means that they can be opened from the other side. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, map. I appreciate you and your information. Uh, what was that weird sound? There's nothing in the box. That's kind of unbelievable. Not even a bullet. There's the fountain pen. Now we need a dog collar. Which I heard a dog barking, but that was in the other dimension. There's a boxing thing here. Oh, look at the wall. I would think that would hurt to like punch the wall on accident. That's one of those little ones that you have to like go like this, like super duper fast. I can't even do it. My wrists are shot from gaming all my life. <laughs> Why is the music so good? Bro, what's happening? Ah, bullshit on these chests being empty though. And the I think the freaking key that he gave me, the last key, and this one's barricaded as well. Great. Um, I think that key is for the very basement -y, like the first door we seen the lock for. I, w I bet you dollars. I'm not really going to take it up on that bet because I don't freaking know for sure. Oh, that's black. Oh, like, there's a door here. Are they going to, like, display it as being black? No, it's just there. Okay, wait, we have rooms here? Oh, I'm blind. And that's why you go in circles, Mary. So this place like doubles as a mental asylum? That's kind of odd. Oh, we've been here. It doesn't really... Never mind. So like, I don't know what a mezzanine is. The whole section's blocked off, and then behind the mezzanine is a freaking staircase. So, oh, I hate these freaking things. No, we don't have the piece. We have we have only like three puzzle pieces we need to find. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're so I stuck. Here. Can I just vault over the side? The staircase. Like Leon Kennedy, that's what he would do. What would Leon do? Freaking loot precious items and then freaking sell them. <laughs> that He's like the real Indiana Jones, not Leon Kennedy. I should probably play those games. I have them all now, I think. The ones that aren't on weird systems that I don't own, like Nintendo. Because I was tempted to get an old Nintendo something something, but I just don't feel like I have it in me to play it. I gotta get through my PlayStation uh, 2 games first. And it's hard to justify it because um, there's no trophies. But they're good games. Alright, so we're back to square one, bro. What the frick? So there's a puzzle in the office, and it shows the puzzle piece. And once you get an item, it'll turn green. So we're missing the puzzle piece for the clerk's office. And where the F is that at? Hmm? All we got is locked freaking doors at this point. Every single door. Locked or barricaded. Fuck. Every door. There should be a human we're probably going to run into at some point. Okay, that's upstairs. Okay, maybe we missed something. Oh, wait, wait. We got the key. Maybe we have to backtrack all the way to the basement where the freak that is. Which I have zero clue. What? Okay, that kind of scared the crap out of me. There's a ladder that fell down. 
There's blood or something here? Or moss? Red fungusy moss. This house is fucking huge, too. Load of library. Oh, nope, it's the library key. <laughs> so that's that's it for his keys. He's done. We get a room key that we haven't even seen the room yet. Los Plantations of Louisiana. Oh, lost. Los Plantations of Louisiana. This is Spanish. Terry Brickle, 1917. Yaseto was a small plantation on the eastern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. The land was considered difficult for industry and was sold for only $30 to Elia Pickford in 1818. Pickford employed hundreds of workers from nearby New Orleans to clear the woods and build a small plantation mansion facing the lake with a striking Greek revival temple facade. Desetto kept a modest production of Paris tobacco and indigo that persisted up till the Civil War. During the antebellum era, Desetto was the source of many rumors concerning voodoo and witchcraft. People who traveled the lake reported seeing people dance at night in front of bonfires, bleating and wailing. On June 17, 1862, Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army recounts leading a raiding party from ships anchored in Lake Pontchartrain in order to seize control of Desetto and free the slaves working there. The captain was surprised to find the workers fighting back with unprecedented zeal. Norton's account describes these men and women as enraged with fanaticism. Pickford reportedly tried to placate the raiders, but was shot in the confusion. Captain Norton left the mansion burning and retreated to his ships with his men. Their settle was left in ruins for several decades. The ownership of the land was long disputed and returned to the Ledoux family in 1901. Several police reports were filed during the following years as the Ledoux tried to get rid of a camp of squatters on their land. The police made several visits to remove the trespassers, but the people kept returning. On November 1st, 1907, Inspector Legras of the police charged a deadly attack in order to save several children kidnapped by the squatters. Many were killed, and even more were jailed. The following year, Ledoux rebuilt Desetto, incorporating the surviving stone foundation and adding a magnificent wrought iron conservatory. The farmland had been reclaimed by the surrounding woods, so it was no longer profitable to use as a plantation. Instead, the house was turned into an artist's colony. The Astarte Artist Colony was a successful group of artists, including figures such as painter Heinrich Cassel and poet Nora Keith. The group was also known for their beloved Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates of Pontchartrain. On September 29, 1915, a tropical hurricane tore through Louisiana, causing Lake Pontchartrain to flood New Orleans. Due to the remote location of their settle, it took almost two weeks for outsiders to learn that the artist's colony was abandoned. The twelve residing artists had all vanished without a trace. The empty mansion of Der Seto still stands on the shore of Lake Pontchartrain, with much of its temple facade intact. The Ledoux family currently has no intention of repairing the house. Huh. Interesting. So that one chick says she's from that time. And that was like 20 years ago. She's like in her early 30s, so... And she has a foggy memory, too. I think we came from that direction. We were here before. What is this? I don't think I've seen this before. Ooh. He just says, ooh. <laughs> Can I can't break the glass? What? That'd be great. It's wedged shut. Hmm, literally. So we need a tool to unwedge it. Something's happening finally. Ah! No! What the fuck? 
Uh, no. Do I just open this door like I was planning on doing? Nope, this is not the door we opened. This is alternate reality. We're out. Nope. What? Uh, I hope this is fucking swamp and not tar. I don't want to burn to death. What do I do? Go towards the fire? Get the bolt cutter? Um. Yep, that's a, that's a bolt cutter. I keep the bulk cutter forever and ever and it's fine and then fine what what happened everything's did I... normal again <sighs> did i go to an alternate dimension to get a bulk cutter to open the store that's barred i'll take it you know what that's fine it's totally fine with me cool awesome it's better than solving a puzzle I'll just get freaked out a little bit i'm fine Oh, you know, remember, you remember what I said? Like, oh, we're gonna probably go through these doors at some point. Derp -a -derp. We just did. Bro, I called it. What's this? I missed it before. What is it? Nothing? Empty box. Bullshit. <gasps> You're the plans! I can't go up there. So, that gate was... I think here. I'm, really, I'm pretty sure that's the only way to go. Nope. Nope. <laughs> That's how we got in. So where was that stupid gate in the basement? Is this plant gonna talk to me, bro? Talk to me, talk to me. There's a ladder that was knocked over. I knock it over. Create a shortcut, Dark Souls Isles. Uh. <sighs> Got it. A water hose? Got it. I didn't know I needed one. Hey. Somebody forgot to drain the water hose and it froze, so that's kind of bullshit. And I close windows on vehicles because people know it's going to snow or rain tonight or tomorrow morning, like two in the morning. Didn't think to close windows. I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. You know, I did everything else today. Besides run the tractor. Have we... Okay, we truly are going backwards, bro. We are going the wrong way. Because we basically went through the basement to get to that main part of the house, which is awesome. What? A cat? Aww. No, I don't want the mummified cat in my pocket. Ew. Mm. Why? I didn't even know I needed a hose. Huh. Yeah, I have no idea what the frick that is. Follow the hose to... What? Nowhere. Okay, came from that way. No idea what the significance of the hose. Something maybe... The bucket and the well will rise when you fill it with water? Like the well and then the bucket will go up? No, there's nowhere else to go. Where's the basement? Am I blind? There's no map for the freaking greenhouse yard area. Great. Awesome. Hmm, too bad I can't turn this on. 
I don't even know what's in the bucket. I can't. Is it a wallet? I don't know what that is. It looks like a little kid shirt to me, but it's not. Oh, wait. The hose is over here. Oh, I thought it just like, went into the grass. Cool. That's a key. All right, we gotta start finding pieces of puzzles and keys and stuff, because we're, like, literally... Oh, is it a puzzle piece? Okay, so... Uh, dark and burnt quantity. So, where is the puzzle? Is it the boiler room? Because it's not blue. No, green, sorry. Blue is... Not a thing. Maybe it's gonna update. I'm plumb out of keys. You know what I just remembered? The Batiste keys? We've used them all. We used the third one and I said it even. Okay, so. We'll just use the ladder and go back up. And something plate. If there's two plates. I think. Because I don't want to think about three plates right now. It's too many. It's too many puzzles, bro. Uh. Yeah, there's two freaking white puzzles that are not solvable. We need the green one. Where's the green one? Have we not found the green one? I keep going this way because uh, the staircase is... Why is have we not used it yet? Or maybe it doesn't indicate... Oh, maybe not. I think it's a save right there. It's a quick save. Is there saving in this game? There is. Let's go ahead and save it since I haven't saved at all. Not once. <laughs> not once. Because, yeah. Nope. Clock puzzles here. Okay, there's a green lock. That means it's a chain, like a padlock or something. Green is good. The room key? Okay. We were here before, we must have totally missed this somehow. Huh. Oh well. How eccentric. I like it. I dig it. Oh my gosh, we can investigate every single picture. Oh. Another puzzle. These paintings got some grim looking rot on them. Yep, it's everywhere. Oops. I... Mm, is that a puzzle? I don't know. <laughs> the Astarte Artist Colony. I remember hearing about their disappearance. Must have been 15 years or more now. A clue. Do I need to remember how to get them? Oops, I'm Do I need to remember how to get them out again? They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. But not for long. I will see her burn soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. No more Derseto, and sadly, no Astarte. Those good pirates of Pontchartrain. May you still sail the lake until you find the shores of Hali. Um, one eleven ten. Aquarius, Sagittarius, and Scorpio. 
I don't know if that's for. What are these symbols? Looks like alchemy or star constellations. Uh, there's zodiac signs. Where's the Aquarius one? There's it's not here. Huh? Leo, Gemini, Taurus, Aries, Gemini, I think, Libra, Leo. It doesn't have the right ones. Why? Sagittarius is 11. And the other two symbols, Scorpio and Aquarius, are not on the box. <sighs> yep, I don't know. It's a puzzle piece. Fuck! I don't know what the code is. Hmm. It is a puzzle. Wait, what was the sound effect? What did it mean? It just like completed an objective. <laughs> The simple astrology cipher was a favorite among the artists who lived in the house 20 years ago. They easily turned into numbers when needed, but also acted as signatures for the members, as there were only 12 of them. There's supposed to be 13. Um... While Detective Combi was grateful to be back at Deceto, he was eager to test his hypothesis. After having suffered through that sinister world, dressed as the French Quarter, Jeremy's writing could be read much more literally. What if Jeremy used his talisman to actually visit those places he mentioned in the book? Combe felt certain that this was the answer. He wouldn't find Jeremy hiding inside Dossetto, he would be in one of those other worlds. And to follow in his steps, Combi would have to investigate the old clock and the boiler and find out what part they played. Yeah, because the boiler has a puzzle piece missing or something to something turn off the steam. And there is a locked door next to it. But we don't have any keys anymore. We just use our other. Like, we had one key left and we done used it. And the big clock that's annoying, the big ticking clock. If it wasn't for the collection of peculiar statues, the old astronomical clock would draw every eye in the room. Oh no, the, the comedy, statues? There's a clue there? It wasn't the intricate clockwork that stood out, but the odd looking plate on the inside. It reminded him of the ritual bench in Miss Jackson's seance room, where he had manipulated the talisman mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. open a door back to Deceto. He wanted to try to replicate the procedure, but found that the inner part of the plate was broken. He would have to find the missing pieces and put the plate back to I know where one is, bro. What are the freaking combinations, bro? McCarthy reminded Detective Combi of an old barfly he used to know. He detested him. There was no getting around it. McCarthy was going to have a hard time getting on his good side. The simple astrology cipher was a favorite among the artists who lived in the house 20 years ago. 
they easily turned into numbers when needed, but also okay, acted as those. signatures for the members. As so. What's the button that... Oh, here we go. No, it's solved. Do y'all see numbers or anything? There's three names. I mean, maybe not numbers, uh, astrology symbols. Yep, I, I don't get it. Oh, wait a minute. Two. Nine. Oh, no. Who was the third person? Franklin William Nora. I think I was saying Noah. Franklin's nine. Nora's four. Oh wait, two nine four. Two nine four. So the astrology, I think that's in the book. Oh no. It doesn't give me numbers for the things, though. Mm, where's the numbers? It's in April. Aries? Two, nine, September. Uh, Virgo? I don't know if that's there. I give up. I don't get it. <laughs> Is that Pisces? What's the symbol for Virgo? What's their Virgo astrological symbol? No, the symbol. symbol. I don't think there's one that looks like that. No, there's not. Okay, so...
Williams first, Franklin, Nora. William, Franklin, Nora. Three, or two, nine, four. No, I took my thing out of here too. Well, 294, 294. But. What is the second zodiac sign? Taurus. Where's the beast, Google? I can't freaking find the pen. Where's the thing at? Zest thingy, where you at? What's the ninth zodiac sign? Oh, I wasn't pushing the button. What's the ninth zodiac sign? Sagittarius. I don't have a Sagittarius symbol. What's the fourth zodiac sign? Cancer. What is the freaking symbol for cancer? To 69. Which we don't have that either. Are you okay, sir? You barely moving. I did it. I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. 294. My talisman now knows he's right. Oh shit. I did it. I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. 294. My talisman now knows these roads, and I have no need for the plates. I can find my way to Lafayette as easy as I find my own room. I visited the grave of my father and seen the oven waiting for me. Thank you for opening these doors. I now must summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. I hope you'll be feeling better when I return. Well, right. Jeremy. Two, nine, four. What am I missing? I think it is. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. There's no symbols for those. Aries is in front of Taurus. Aries, Libra, Aries, Libra, Taurus. Is that right? Aries, Libra. Taurus. No! <laughs> it actually has the symbols, bro. Taurus, Libra, Aries? Oh, we figured it out. I don't. Okay. Yep. We're geniuses. Finally got a broken plate. Dark and burnt. We are dumb, but we are not so dumb. My IQ is higher. I could solve it faster. Is it? Oh no. 
Please tell me there's no enemies. I was having such a nice chill time. Oh no. Why is the ceiling gonna leak? No, what's this? It's going up now. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> ah! Okay, just another thing. What the hell is going on? I don't know, but we found something. I think I've seen this somewhere. I, I have no idea what it is. What are you talking about? Oh, you know, I think it was on the painting, actually. Or something. The middle is the only piece you can't manipulate. Nope. Um. No, it doesn't. Move, select. Move. Why is there so many moves? There was something in the commonplace book about this. Was there? It's like idiot. Commonplace book. So it's like a little dude pointing that way. Is that what I'm seeing? Um, but you can't like tilt it or anything. That's what I don't understand. I don't. How do you rotate it? Cause this should go up here where this is. The directional pad moves it around. L one L. L does the same thing. What I don't understand is why I can't rotate the pieces. That's the thing that I don't understand. What? And you can't like rotate the whole thing either, which... Yeah, why would you want to? I don't know. I'm so confused. I'm retarded. Yep. Yep, I am fucking dumb as shit. My bad. I don't even remember what the freaking symbol was. I just got, like... I got fucking corner teched by this puzzle. <laughs> Commonplace book. Go all the way to the end. So, let's do, like, a clock. So, two... Well, technically two, three, seven, eight, two, three, seven, eight. It was wrong button. Wait a minute, maybe not.
Oh, uh, that looks funny. Looks a little funny to me. Maybe I got these two pieces mixed up. No, because it doesn't match. Nope, that's even more derpy. <laughs> Damn it. Actually, no. Wait, hold up, hold up. I messed this up a little bit. My bad. Nope, because that's derpy too. Something's fucking off, dude. I'm... That looks like it, does it not? <laughs> don't tell- don't freaking tell me, dude. Cause that one has a piece of gold in it. Yeah, that has to go here. I'm not really sure like what is wrong with this because I think it looks it looks like it Yeah, because that's the only face that looks like that. It doesn't go that direction though. Yeah, there's no way. Because this piece and this piece don't have any. Yeah, but even like the little symbols, like they match. Like that's where they're supposed to go. What am I doing wrong? And then that little gold piece. Yeah, 
Yep, I don't know. I feel like that should be right. I guess I'm wrong. I think the clock broke. Or maybe it just stopped at a very precise place. Oh, man. Three, six, four. Three, six, four? What, what are we supposed to do with that? Mm. Oh. Shite. See, I try to read the face of the thing instead of like the number that's like three, six, Wrong way. Three, six, four is not it. Six, three, four. That's definitely a four. No? I kind of got that completely wrong. Switch disc? Oh no, I've been doing it. I just don't like how it has the same controls twice, like for two different buttons. Like, you don't need that. Okay, so the smallest one is three, four, six. Three, four, six. Which is what I have. Didn't I try that? There's a picture in the black glass. It's showing me something. Yeah, it's next to the it's hallway, hallway outside Jeremy's room. Is the barricaded? Because I think I've been there. They didn't give me a key or nothing? <laughs> that makes me sad. It just gives me a vision. I'd rather have a puzzle piece. Okay, so. What is that symbol? I think a locked door, but it's sideways. I need the key. <sighs> uh, this guy is out of shape, dude. He drinks too much. He drinks to heal, so. Auto saved, awesome. Okay, so I'm thinking the door with the freaking rug rolled up, which I don't know who that was. Not there. That goes outside. Hmm. Locked the door. I need the key. Maybe it is through here. Oh, 
Oh, there's another freaking locked door. I can't go in there. Where is that stupid hallway? Was it upstairs, bro? I swear to God. I'm not gonna walk out of this now. I need to help Emily save her uncle. Emily Schmimily. Oh, they gave me to give up? Oh, wait. Oh, no. No, this isn't cool. Ah! More fire? Huh. I made it. I entered another one of Jeremy's memories. Oh, no. I'm getting medium flashbacks. Aw, oh, man. It's gonna make me walk in that shit. Two. All right, I'll be, I'll be right back. I drank like three beers and like 12 ounces of water.
Sorry. Is there an adult here? Of course not my pocket knife. I thought I brought a charge reading for Simon, but I don't see it. Oh, there. Simon, come here. Puss, puss, puss. Come on, puss. Siamese. If you please. Now, I'm going to be smart and move my blanket in case it drips. I'm like, this is awkward. Like, why are you making me go like this? So they can see your little knees butt. I hope the corn stove didn't burn out. I think dad's home, so if it did, then we can fix it. But I forgot to do that, and then I took the break between whatever that game was called, Trapang, Trapang. When I restarted the level, it started me all the way at the beginning, and I'm like, bro, <laughs> no. And the only reason why I did that is because I wanted to have, like, the three grenades I wasted for no reason. I don't even think I killed one person with those three grenades. That's it, bro. Hold on. <sighs> My nose is itching, dude. That's it, Simon. Well, you can sit on my lap if you want to. Like, oh. All right, so. The freaking painting teleported us. Yeah, I'm getting like medium vibes, but the medium you go into the ghost world and you investigate the deaths of um, people or the traumas and stuff. But it has a dual world concept. You can actually have like a split screen where like one is reality and the other is spirit. So you can like see different things in the spirit world or access different things. Really good game. It's one of the platinum ones I got. I mean, the one of the platinums, not the game. I don't have the game anymore. It's rented. Mm. We have to go traipse around a swamp. Ugh. Awesome. Oh wait, this isn't a swamp. I thought it was swamp. I guess I overthought it. May 1923. Monday. All okay. Ready for delivery. Maintenance. Oil pump must be serviced. Any tampering causes large spills unless properly forestalled. Tuesday. Shipment delayed but delivered. Maintenance. Service bridge close to broken. Wednesday. Prospectors reluctantly agreed to show the burial mound to Mr. Hotwood, the painter, who read about our finds in the papers. He means to return tomorrow to try to find a way inside. Thursday. Mr. Hotwood's efforts delayed. The workers seem nervous about his presence. Mr. Hotwood promised not to return to the compound. Instead, he has taken up an offer by L'Officier, the riverboat captain. 
means to pilot him to the site tomorrow morning. Hopefully that's the end. Work can resume. Maintenance. The bridge from the oil powered to the bayou has collapsed. Sabotage suspected. This is the devil that guides us now. On Sunday even. Bruh. Bruh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wow. Uh, I'll definitely take bullets, bro. Because I keep... I mean, I'm not, like, running out, per se. Like, I literally use most of what I get each time. A key. key. A key in an alternate dimension. Awesome. You know, these things don't have eyes, so I don't know if they're attracted to the light. Ooh. Oh. We can't cut that Y? I'd hate to, like, waste bullet on that. Like, just one bullet would count, bro. That's where we came from. Uh. We don't have the wire cutter? Didn't we get the wire cutter from an alternate dimension? Facts, I cannot turn my flashlight off with this. Oh wait, no I cannot. Oh, there's the oil rig! And that's a lot of freaking bats. I think that's bats. Okay. The bugs, bro. I hate bugs. Jetty key? That might be what we need. Hmm. What's the hmm? Sup hmm? Okay. Has the Alice problem of when you open a locker or a door, it's like in your face. I don't think I have the brain capacity to deal with Alas Trials right now, bro. There's something missing. Oh my god. I'm out. Where's that freaking door? Where's that freaking door? What is the significance of me, like, seeing an item I missed looting before when there's nothing in the box? Now that's swamp for reals.
Those are statues, I guess. Um, yeah. Hopefully we won't get insta-killed by a gator. That suck. Insta-kill. That should be a trophy. <gasps> what is it? A bridge lever? Oh, yeah. That thing where it's like, oh, something's missing. That's what's missing. <sighs> Got it. What the... No way. Why would you need to go down there? I'm gonna save. I'm gonna do it. I don't know if there's any reason to keep separate save slots, but we will until we know if we need them. Because the second playthrough is going to beat the woman. Because what's she doing when I'm doing this? Did you see what it was? Oh, no, that's just the nothing. <clears throat> I don't think alligators make those kind of noises. I don't think this one Run, motherfucker! Oh, freaking. Huh? What is it? What is that? What is it? What is it? What is it? It's not gonna get on the wood. It's like tremors, bro. I don't know. What the fuck it is? What is is that just Do we need to kill it at all? Um we'll just leave it there because I don't know what it's for. Because if we don't need to kill it, uh, that's fine with me. That sounds horrific, though. Do not like that freaking sound. Unless it comes up here. I got a pipe. We're good. We should be good, right? I got plenty of health. It worked. Well, why wouldn't it work? Alright, we're out. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Okay. We're good. Okay, the sound's dissipating. That thing don't like floors and solids. Or well, it's like in the ground, so I don't know what the freak. Oh man, it's getting louder as we go over here. Another pipe? Because I think I might have slightly damaged it. I'm not sure. What? Squiz? Discarded palette. The Heartwood Curse. I hope we're not like missing okay. stuff. Or maybe you have to do two playthroughs to get everything, because maybe the, some of the stuff isn't even available for one or the other. That was it for this crook. Crook and Amy, or whatever you call it.
Don't worry, I'm in my 30s, I can handle it. <laughs> no! What do I do? That was it? I feel... That's not... Maybe there's more than one. There is, they can hear what. Ooh. Oh, I'm ready for anything. Oh shit. Looks pretty weak. Hey, speak for yourself. Huh? Oh shit! I didn't even realize. I thought it was on the other side. I thought it was on the other side of the breakable wall. We're good. We're fine. We've got this. Huh. Okay, don't fall in the water. I don't say bitches. Y'all. Y'all. Oh my gosh, there's more of that noise. I don't got time for that. Ooh, I think that's when we can burn him. Jello, you better not be. In oh shit! Actually, I'll take that right now. Give me this. Do not set yourself on fire, Mary. You're on fire! No! Don't touch me, bitch! No, he's not on fire anymore. Huh? Oh my gosh, whatever this noise pressure is, I don't like it. It's the freaking oil rig, I think. I don't like it. Oh god, there's like another one right there, isn't there? I feel like, you know... Why is it teasing me with all these empty, lootable things, bro? Or maybe I'm looting them, I'm just not seeing them, because I looted the pistol bullets automatically. I saw the hatchet? Yes, I do. Uh... Yeah. I really don't want to go that way. I could not go that way. Do you hear that? Is it a radio or something? Or phonographs? Huh. Hmm. Can they just switch it up, like, say, interesting? Like, what? Like, dude, you can put more words. Oh, well, it's barely words, like, as a sound effect. How do you slide? Dude, that's all he crouches down? Bro, that's barely anything, dude. It's getting louder and more pressure. Just remember to quick attack, Mary. Just remember to quick attack. Hey, Saya. Ah! Oh no, my freaking thing broke. 
I didn't realize he was just chilling there. That's not even the thing making all the noise either. What the freaking music pause? Where the freak is that radio and shut it off? A gazing statuette from the Beast of Burden collection. We got one more. Forsake it? Bullets? Yes. Hey, we're not doing so bad on bullets and panic shooting. That's good. Told you it's gonna take longer to aim. Take all the time you need, Mary. No. I have no clue where that music's coming from, and I can't shut off the radio. How many are there? Oh god, it's, it's coming. I, okay. I really don't want to walk. Dude, it's like Trevor's kinda. That's funny. Oh, just keep walking around. Right? They can jump up here, I think. Wait, are these gonna crinkle? Nope. Should be more of them, bro. Pretty dang sure I'm not gonna go backward on this part of the freaking map. There's gotta be a way to get to the other side. What is this? A pipe? Taking pipe and oh god. It did buy it? I was like, dude, that's way too far. Fuck that. It's right behind me, it's right behind me, it's right behind me, isn't it? What is this? Oh shit. Oh shit, get on the ladder! Ah! Get on the ladder! I think those things shoot stuff too, don't they? No, I do not want to get on that. Dude, tell me no. No, I think I... Why? Why? No, I don't want to do this. Oh, fuck. Do I have to, like, consciously balance? Okay, it was easy. Get on the ladder, bro. Get on the ladder. Get on the ladder. Get on the ladder. Bro. You better teleport me back to wherever I need to be, because I don't want to be here. No. Huh. All right. Now what? Well, why did you come up here? A tough cloth? Is that to, like, not get myself set on fire? Uh, okay. I don't know why these things would be doing this. Okay, oh, so you can use it. When you're out of fault, your death would go up in flames. No, just use a tough cloth to get the fuck out of here. That's better than what I thought it was supposed to be used for, actually. But why did we come up here? 
Because we wouldn't need the tough cloth unless we need it for something else. Full? No way. They limit your bullets to 26. You gotta be kidding, dude. I think we're safe here. Yeah. I spoke too soon. I spoke way too soon. I hope those... I don't even know, dude. There's, if they're real alligators versus the sludge monsters, it doesn't... Ah! No way! What is that thing? It's a fucking Jersey Devil or something. It's like one of those things from like the ritual or whatever it's called. I think the better question is, what the frick is the sound behind it? I don't want to fight that thing, bro. That thing looks like it would probably hurt me. We gotta go. We gotta go, 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 go. Is it there? It's the hateful mound Jeremy talked about in his book. Yeah, this is some fucking Hellblade shit. Some Viking stuff. Sure. And they're making that only as an Xbox exclusive. But since they're starting to put Xbox games on PlayStation, I have hopes they'll come to PlayStation. <laughs> and worst case scenario, we can get it on Steam. Don't come any closer. I'm armed. Okay. Get that thing out of my face. Who are you? What Who are, are you? you doing here? And how are you I'm just clean? A detective bro? Like, trying it's so to find something here. called Tarawea. You after Jeremy too? He's got blood on his ass. Why? I'm working for his niece. She wants to make sure he's all right. He might be unharmed, but far from all right. He's a curse upon Deceto. Oh, here we go again. Quiet. Yeah. What the fuck? Why did I grab the bag? Oh, I thought she did it on purpose. Why is she trying to get his attention? I pulled the doctor's bag out of there. Oh, Christ in heaven. I have 26 bullets. Reflections on the Power of the Verb in Certain Texts by Juan Luis Jorge To act is in itself divine. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. Our actions become rote and rigid in spite of luxury and comfort. True divinity is found in the choice of leaving the stage where we all perform. People who discover this freedom unexpectedly will be struck by the terror of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse, turn to suicide. However, if you are able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new. Something that hasn't been planned for or predestined. There is difficulty in explaining this type of acting as it transcends our everyday choices. This isn't some banal decision choosing one career over the other, or even who I should marry. Leaving the stage, no matter how, isn't a matter of course correction. It's a rejection of the story that the creator is telling. So 
sitting room key. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. You pull the bag out and you get multiple items and clues. That's pretty tight. Cause that's like that putty knife, I'm like, that's lame. Okay, so we have a solvable puzzle in the very room we're standing in. Oh god. Can you imagine if they maybe Oh no. What's the puzzle? In the triangle. Oh, the putty knife is a dig wedged that's shot. wedged out. It worked. Yep. Instructions. The Barlow lens. Instructions. To double the magnification of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appears flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. Nice. Oh, there's the key for the basement. Oh, I really don't know how to get back down there, but, you know, we'll figure it out. Hey, don't mind if I do. So, show set bonus text. Lost children, alone in the lost walk a land of fear. And there is nothing you recognize or no one to trust. Prepare for the worst. Something is coming and you best be ready. Take the gun in the parlor. Give them hell. Oh, the, the rifle? That's in the glass case? Because I definitely have that, bro. I'll take that all day. Is that a... Yep, it's a blue chicken. Huh. Not surprised there's a apples here, because assholes eat apples. I don't think I have everything I need. What could you possibly need for a telescope? You just look at it with your eye hole. Um. Hmm, so cellar key is the main thing we got from here, I guess. Yeah, I have no idea where the freaking cellar is. I thought we were kind of like on the trail at this point, but I was wrong. Oh, hell no. Nah. And this is another locked door that I forgot about. <laughs> That's gotta be a cat, right? Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. That'd be funny if it would've jump scared me because that's totally what would've happened if it did. Um, so where's the cellar? Cause I don't know where it is. He just let the water turn on, it's kind of dickish. Legitly, that would be flooding. Nope, we tried that before too. 
Something's gonna have to happen with this tree, bro. This doesn't just whisper and act all weird for nothing. Can we squish through there? That's lame. Cellar key, cellar key. Where could you be? Huh? I have a question. Oh, block door and bolted door are two different species. Oh, so, oh wait, there's a cellar. So I have to go through the kitchen garden to the right, which is where I came from, right? Yeah, I'm dumb. But, that's upstairs. How do I get back up there? I see like the light reflecting on certain things and it makes me do a double take. Oh, the ladder. The shortcut for Dark Souls. Miss. Not a Dark Souls. <laughs> Gotta go up to go down. That's even further up. I need the key. Is I don't have it. No, I do not. Fuck, another locked door. Do I have to go all the way up and then go back down, bro? That's Huh. They better give me some people to talk to or something. Sitting room. Okay, I guess we go here first. Hey, propaganda. There's something missing. Oh my gosh. No, I don't have a puzzle piece. No, another one. And another one. Although Tormented Souls is way more annoying, bro. I mean, this game's not annoying this must at all. Be that kid's room. Looks like Where it. She Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game, bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. With love, Ruth. I'm so familiar. Jack in the box. Huh. Yeah. I ain't fucking with that. That's a creepy doll. All the dolls in this era are freaking creepy as hell. Probably because they're all haunted. Don't ask her for a light, bro. Don't even. I was just sitting there. What do you got there? You drawing something? Nothing special. I'm just bored. Do I know you from somewhere? I remember you, Mr. Conby. From where? Don't touch that. Cassandra wouldn't like it. She wouldn't like it at all. Do you know where she is? I'd rather not talk about it. It makes me upset. Besides, she'll be back after the Feast of St. John. You think? Yep. It's all on the page, Mr. Conby. 
And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna go now, if that's okay. I don't like to stay too long in the same place. Mr. McCarthy might find me. Yeah, hey. he's looking for you. Is he mean to you? Not everyone needs to be saved, Mr. Conby. You should know that by now. Yeah, that little girl's way smarter than that drunk guy. <sighs> so this is where Cassandra Beauregard ended up. For some reason, I thought she died years ago. It's been several minutes since prescribed to the Arthur Cassandra. This particular bottle contains an ointment for pain relief sold as the fourth version of the company's popular recipe. I just joined it. Yes, I do. Miss Beauregard, I picked up your medicine at the post office today. As you understand, it needs to be administered by the orderlies for your safety. I have put the box in Lottie's room for now and I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. Mr. Waits. So she's like wheelchair bound, like where is she? again like it's guiding me to do something but what oh we're missing a bottle if I find the full set of bottles then maybe I can make something out of the stains of rot Damn it. it's always one piece I'm missing dude uh, surely the bottles oh you know where the bottle is it's in that locked box Oh, Lord have mercy. It's another one of those strange padlocks. I don't remember what the combination is. I don't remember. I think, wait, I think I have a clue. Oh, uh, shoot. I don't remember what the code was for the other one. It, it might be different than for this. There's got to be a clue in the room or something. Because the other one had pictures. Of the wall. Oh, the clue is the bottles. Okay, so don't worry about that right now. I mean, technically, you could probably cheat and look it up on the internet and type it in, but I'm not really sure if that would work. Okay, so... Damn. Okay, we came from that direction. Hopefully there's a medicine bottle in here, you think? Did you hear that? Ew. Nothing in the bathroom.
So the pink is completed and the blue is explored. I'm not sure what that even means. What's the completed and explored? Oh, that's an actual clue. When it makes you worse. So one more thing. Well, it's a good thing I came back in here, I guess. I would have missed that. The medicine bottles had stains of rot on the labels, suggesting some greater shape. They just needed to be put in the right order. But for what purpose? Okay, so... Dude, I've already seen the boiler. What are you talking about? Find. I've... That's where the freaking... Find the key to the medicine box in Lottie's room. I assume the combination for luck comes from that. Investigate the small parlor with the gun on the wall. Where was that at? Maybe just go downstairs. I really don't like these statues. Small parlor. Huh. Yeah, we haven't seen that one chick for a while, have we? Oh, it's open now. Now we're talking. Okay, so I collect all the little secret things and it unlocks a weapon for me, a shock. Oh. We haven't been picking up shells though. I didn't mean to do that. So that only has whatever shells are in it, so we have to find more. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Lottie's room. Uh, oh, we have to, we're like right here, bro. I was like, please tell me it's not back over there because I really messed up. I really did mess up. So. Is that this door? So you have to go through the library to get there. Because I was like, I don't see any other way. Huh? What? No, why is it steaming like that? Uh-uh. We don't need it. Ah. Uh. Fuck. And, uh, didn't we open the Lottie's room? Ah! Oh, okay.
Okay. That was... I don't know how that even worked. I don't even know how that worked. That was luck. Give me the bullets. Oh, shotgun shells, yes. Is that a fucking pickaxe? Oh, lordy. Great. It's normal in here? Yep, okay. Um... At least I get a cape what I find in the other in the other huh. dimensions. Lottie's room. We were here. But it said find oh, find the key to the box in Lottie's room. I thought the key was in the room for the box, but the box is what's in the room. We don't have any idea where that key is. Shite. What? A window's open? Nurse's watch. That's really cool, actually. A thousand young. I don't think that was there before. Um, where the hell is the key? These people need to get some cats. I just got PT, fucking PTSD going down these stairs, bro. Hey, we got the cellar. That's where it was the whole time. I'll remember it. It's in Lottie's room. Yeah. We're... Mm, we're getting new freaking clues visiting the old location. You know, Mr. Waits. I saw a piece oh, of the plate that Liza off. broke. I think she's been hiding them. She's not very good at it. She just chucked it into the little room with all the tools behind the boiler. I left it there. I didn't want to embarrass her by picking it up while she was looking. We oh, went upstairs piece. instead and played backgammon. I let her win. Because she's so unhappy. The piece looked like the one on display in Cassandra's room. You know about that one already, right? Or is your eyesight really that fuzzy? I hope you don't feel bad about your glasses. You only look stupid when you squint. Maybe if you had more eyes, you would see these things. <laughs> I wish you had all the eyes you needed. Your best and favorite guest, Grace. It's another plate for the talisman. Like the other one, it's broken and missing some pieces. Can I go run this way, though? Finally, solar key. One more. 
I close that one. Oh, that's the switch for the thing. Oh, wait, that's not what I thought it was. Turn off electricity to get to the valve. Ah, worked. Fuck. Can I turn it back on? No. This, uh, the music's intensifying. I think I'm sick of the pickaxe. I've never found. I haven't found a shovel either. Yeah, this shit off the whole cellar. Hello? What the hell is going on here? You remember what the little girl's nose said? I, I wish you had all the eyes you need. There's the plate thingy. It's one. Piece of larger decorative plate has a light and almost wood like quality. I mean, I think Alone in the Dark is supposed to, like, have, like, Cthulhu-esque qualities. I don't think it is a solid coal. I mean, esque. We're missing one more piece. Huh. Calm, they didn't know what to make of the grotesque vision of the dead club. Was he dead, or was it all fiction? I think the combination lock thingy has the other piece of the boiler puzzle, I think. It has a piece of something. I know it's a puzzle thing. I don't know what the key is for Lottie or for that box in her room.
I have no idea how you get to the other section. It's the infirmatory area. Change floor. Yes, please. And there's the attic, too. Oh, goody. <laughs> hmm. So, I think we're supposed to go to the gray, or in the gray areas, the pink areas. There's a lot of them. What's on the other side? kitchen i assure you no, i'm sorry sir, promise i promise you I, mr hartwood is I nowhere near my for... kitchen and neither should you be don't make I, me I kick you out to... of this house sorry. now get out yeah. yeah that sounded like a bunch of like cats feasting on something she's hiding something she's a crazy cat lady for sure She locked me out. Uh. So we don't need to go this way. We need to go to that little pink section. I'm not sure what that even means. That's where we found the clue. What is it that we're supposed to find here? Because it's pink. Apparently, I'll understand the color coding thing between completed and pink. Or explored. We really need the key. That seems to be like the main thing that's holding us back. So that got turned back on. When I tried to turn it back on, it wouldn't let me, but it got turned back on. Probably by the lady, to be honest. She probably needs it for the kitchen. Yeah, I'm not really sure where to go.
Combi was in shock, but also a little embarrassed. The housekeeper was furious to find him searching through the kitchen and had run him out of the room. There was something strange going on with her, but it didn't feel connected to the case, so he decided to stay out of her way. For now. For now. I don't know. For a key to the stupid box, bro. What puzzles in the drawing room? Why are the record players doing it? Oh, it goes with the telescope? Okay, that's what the freaking puzzle in the drawing room is. And oh, we need items for that, dude. I don't like the way it's doing that. Why is it doing that? I don't freaking know. Hmm. I don't know. I'm confused. It's been an hour since we saved. I think I'm gonna call it a night. I'll pick this up tomorrow. Um, I actually am really enjoying the game. It's pretty fun. When I played Tormented Souls, it was doing the same thing this was doing, where it's like back-to-back -back puzzles, but this is not as annoying as Tormented Souls. And the enemies are better than Tormented Souls. Excuse me. Y'all have a great morning or night. Look for the notification. You know about me and my schedule. Now I'll have a schedule. And I just say, oh, I'm going to stream later. I'm like, nope. I either have an extension headache or busy. Blah, 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 blah. But y'all have a great night. Or morning.